I heard you talking about me. If you have a problem with me, you can say it to my face. Hey, Janice! Janice from the Yarn Barn! I'm sure you were. Chris? Can you stop looking at that? What is that, a ham radio? That's for work. What? I'm making shark steaks for dinner. I was hoping to talk to you. While we're talking right now, what? Christine, this isn't the start of one of your moods, is it? You can tell me. I hate to see you go through that. Heck, jeez. Moods. What is it? It's just, you're sounding a little like you sounded towards the end of your time in Boston. Yeah, well, I'm fine, okay? What? I have some news. I met someone. <laughs> His name is Mitch. He came into work a few weeks ago. He, um, he lives in Bradenton. <laughs> okay. What do you want me to say? I want you to be happy for me. I'd like you to meet him. <laughs> well, why don't we, uh, give it a few weeks? Historically, these things don't always go as planned with you. Christine, I know that's not you talking. That's whatever you're carrying around right now. I think you should apologize to me. Christine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouldn't say things like that to you. It's just that you don't even ask me what's going on with, 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 with uh, George or, or anything. Hey, and uh, it's whoa. like, uh, whoa, whoa. well, I wanted to talk to you about it the other day. And, and, and now you're telling me all this and it, well, it just, uh, just feels like gloating. Oh, oh my God, no. I'm sorry, I should have checked in with you. Hmm. Do you really see that or are you just saying that to shut me up? No. I can totally see where you're coming from. Okay? Can I give you a hug? That usually seems to help. always talk to me. I'm your mom. That's what moms are for. 